just so y'all guys can see the cheese sauce. See my cheese sauce? Look at that. What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get that grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. It's Valentine's Day, guys, so happy Valentine's Day to you guys, okay? Um, today, I am doing my fried seafood, okay? I know you guys haven't seen me do this, um, but I wanted to try it out, so shout out to Erica from E Eat With E. She kind of helped me out with this. Um, as well as eat with Q, you know she she does she does a lot of fried crab uh, crab legs and stuff. So um, shout out to you ladies, I appreciate you know the help. So I went ahead and tried this, guys. My first time, I've never done this before. Okay, so um, I hope it's as good as it looks. You know, let you guys see this how it is. I can't really lift it because it's still super 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 hot. Uh, but you know what? Let me give you a little glimpse so you guys can see this so I got you see that so I got uh my fried crab legs I got my fried shrimp in the middle my onion rings and my lobster tail on the ear and then I threw some fried chicken in on the side as well guys okay um I got my special sauce can't tell y'all wasn't in that, but um, it's spicy, tangy, and sweet at the same time. So I mixed a few things in it. Um, got my body armor to keep my energy up. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to body armor. And of course, my cheese sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna have to dive in on that as well. And then, in all fairness of um, Valentine's Day, I went ahead and got me some. Uh, Valentine's chocolate covered strawberries you know just because I'm spending Valentine's Day with you guys okay so I want us to share it together okay that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna have our good good seafood brunch and we're gonna enjoy our sweet desserts on top of that okay I like how they be packaging it up though it make it look real nice let you guys check that out too See that? Yeah. Well, y'all know how I am about my strawberries already, so not much surprise there. All right. So we'll go ahead and dig in on this. And I told you guys yesterday, I want you to know how your um, how your Valentine's was gonna be. But I don't expect. See a lot of people because I expect people will be, you know, sharing a little love today. You know what I'm saying? So, well, for those of you who are here with me, I'm glad you're here. So, I can say with this, the toughest thing for me, honestly, was uh, was more so the lobster because I was I was I really wasn't sure, you know, like how I was supposed to do it, right? So I was real nervous about it, but. You know, I was like, hey, it's worth a shot, right? So, I think it came out okay. So, we're going to try it out. First, I'm going to try my shrimp. Mm. That's really good. I 
Honestly, why they use cheese though? Really good. Yeah, I guess we did a pretty good job. I know everybody say they want to say food, right? But I actually think I did a pretty good job. It wasn't easy, believe me. found respect you know for people who put time into seafood fried and things like that because it takes a lot of preparation to, you know to get it right you know what I'm saying it's not easy get some onion ring too look at that it's not easy Clean up alone, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not easy, trust me. This is my uh, fried crab leg right here. You guys see that? Dipping in that cheese sauce. to come to different classrooms like so basically what you do you'll pay a couple dollars and um, you know it went towards the chorus fund like when we traveled and stuff like that but what they would do you get that couple of dollars and then they would go uh, to different classrooms like so for example like me right so what I would say I would give a couple of dollars say alright I want you guys to come to my girl's classroom and, and sing to her on Valentine's and then that's what they would do so you pay a couple dollars, they would go to the classroom and they would sing and then give them a rose or whatever and uh, sing, you know, like a love song or whatever. So I remember one time in middle school, I was really excited, man. I was like, okay, it's my first Valentine, you know what I'm saying? Somebody actually going to chill with me, somebody actually liked me. Alright, so I want to be perfect. So I, mean, I paid the money the day before. I was so excited, man, I couldn't sleep, right? So when I finally did fall asleep, I overslept. I missed the school bus. I had flowers and, you know, teddy bears and candy. But the funny part is, I'm trying to carry all this stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm going, I'm walking. At least half a mile, not a mile. Okay. To uh, to the bus stop. Now, not not to not to the school bus stop. You know, to the to the city transit, right? Because I gotta make it to school. I can't miss this. You know what I'm saying? It's too important for me. You know, I know it's important to her, but it's too important for me to miss, right? So go, I get to the bus, they pull up, I got all this stuff in my hands, right, I get on the bus, and then I get
get to the school, I'm late. So I'm like, oh man, I want to make the entrance. I want everybody to see me. So they're like, oh, who that's for? Who that's for? You know what I mean? Ain't nobody seen me because I was late. So now I'm like, oh man, I done paid this money. I was like, I hope I don't get here too late. And they sang to it, whatever, and I miss it. Come to find out, <laughs> the day the guy who's the lead singer was supposed to sing to it, he was sent on Valentine's Day. Oh my God, it was like the worst day, right? So I was like, you know what? I'll do it. They're like, you? Like, you ain't practice with us? And then I'm like, it's cool, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, this was supposed to be, you know, for her, you gotta practice, you know, you didn't practice. I'm like, no, just tell me the song, I got it. So we go to the classroom, and uh, I remember we went in to sing, uh, uh, it was Drew Hill, uh, five, I think it was Five Steps with Drew Hill, right? So I'm walking in, and uh, they got the music, they got a little radio with or whatever in the back, so they start playing, and everybody like, who this for? So the crazy thing, I'm gonna tell y'all the crazy thing. We go up, I start, you know, it's five steps, you know, to eternity, we were, I'm feeling myself, you know what I'm saying? Come to find out, while I'm singing, I'm looking, you know what I'm saying, you know, I start putting them, you know, you put the eyes on them, you know what I'm saying? I look, now I told y'all, it's come with a rose, right? So I look, I'm like, she got two roses in her hand already. I'm like, I just got here, right? So I'm getting ready to, you know what I'm saying, smooth in, slide in, whatever, with my little rolls like this. And I look, I'm like, she got two rolls in. So I got the rolls, I just like try to slide them out, like sniff it like this. And I end up giving it to the girl next to me. You know what I mean? And she was upset. And, you know, I, I could tell she was upset, right? But I had to find a way to twist it, man, because I was in my feelings, right? So now I'm saying hard. I'm, I'm really, I'm really into it. You know what I'm saying? Four step, about to cry and everything. <laughs> I'm hurt, right? So we get into it, man, whatever. The girl that's too, she all shot. I, I don't really know this girl at all, right? I know she had no rose. So I'm being petty at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So we made a day, they clapped everything or whatever like that. And I gave her the little heart thing and said, you know, will you be my Valentine or whatever? So I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, me and my girl, we done. You know what I'm saying? Already. On Valentine's Day, it's going to be a wrap. Come to find out, she walk up to me, she like, oh, she like, oh, so what was that about? I'm like, you tell me. You know what I'm saying? I walk in, you got two roses in your head. So she tells me, she was like, these roses, one for my dad and one for my mom. And they gave them to me because they was like, just in case you don't feel love from anybody else, you always have them from us. Heart just dropped. <laughs> I'm like, I'm over here being selfish and petty and all this, man. And she got it from her parents, right? I don't know what to do. My face stuck, everything, right? I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this. So I'm gonna tell you what I did. So what I did was I was like, <laughs> oh, from your parents. I'm like, you know what? It's cool. I'm not even upset. I felt that you would get love no matter who it was from. I say, but, you know, nobody know this girl. And I see she wasn't. So I just felt like, you know, at the end of the day, I don't know what she going through or what she could be going through. But I wanted her to feel like how you feel today. She was just like, really? She was like, that was, she was like, that was really thoughtful. She was like, everybody expected you to come bring it to me, and you did. You know, she was like, that was really thoughtful. And I was like, but I still got your stuff, so I gave her a candy and all that stuff. And she was like, you went out your way, you know, to to make sure somebody else was happy on a date when you didn't have to. And, in my head, I'm like, girl, you do. And she was like, you know, that was sweet. And I was like, yeah, you know. I, so I'm telling the story. Like, man, I got to miss the buzz and all this and that. And uh, it's funny. You know, after that, we were, like, really close. And then people started to get to know me. And just from that one girl, 
you know, I got so many people who was just like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, you know, for, for being considerate and this, this, and that. And, you know, after that, everything changed. You know what I mean? Like, everything changed, man, because I think people got to see uh, a different side. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people didn't know me like that, but then it started to change, man. You know, I started to become like, you know, the, the good guy, I guess you could say. And it's crazy how I initially did seek out for that. But it felt good being a good guy. So I decided from that that point forward, I'm going to be the good guy, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to always make sure that people understand that they have support no matter where it's coming from. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm glad I got to to make her day. Like I said, there's no telling what she, what she could have been going through today. You know what I'm saying? All I know is I was able to make it work for her, make it better for her, you know what I'm saying, and that's what matters, so if you guys have an opportunity today to uh, make somebody happy, you know what I'm saying, it's lost the tail, man, I, I did it too, then, you know, by all means, like, if you can do it, man, do it, you know what I'm saying, don't look for a reward, don't look for anything out of it. You know, just do it out of the kindness of your heart. You know, you'll see the benefit. You'll reap the benefit from it. Trust me. But I want to dig into this, but because it's Valentine's Day, I do want to make sure that I, you know, get into this too. You know what I'm saying? Just because. Some people, again, like I said, some people don't have that benefit of having a valentine or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I want to make sure for those who who don't have that benefit or that luxury of being loved, you know what I'm saying? Or feeling like they're being loved, you know? We here, you know what I'm saying? So I got my chocolate cup of strawberry. Check that out. sweetness of the chocolate and the coldness of the strawberry. Boy. 